major developments in the investigation into seven city police officers accused of illegal shakedowns and searches and major overtime fraud. Tonight, there is revealing new body camera video of them at work. WJZ stays on this explosive story with complete coverage. Rick Ritter is live with the anger over how the officers' overtime went unchecked for so long. But we begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren with the just released video of those officers. Mike? Denise, Albert Brown says his encounter with them happened right here at this gas station as he was getting air in his tires. These officers have been accused of shaking people down and illegal searches of their homes. He says that's exactly what happened to him, and you're about to see it on video. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. You know what I'm saying? I had to go through what I went through. Albert Brown recounts to WJZ. Is there a reason you don't have your seatbelt on today? How he was pulled over by four of the now indicted Baltimore City cops. You can see the cocaine up in the visor. He claims they planted drugs and a gun in his minivan. Let me see. Put, the, put it on camera. Before confiscating his driver's license and keys. <laughs> then rushing to do an illegal search of his house. Y'all just gonna go in the house without no warrants. They can secure anything. They went to my house, searched my house. Ransack my house. We also got it on the body camera and we also got it on the video phone. Are you going to continue to lie to me? He says they lied to him about having it all on a body camera. Only now, six months later, did the state's attorney's office dismiss the case. My kids asked me, Daddy, why you ain't going to work? You know, things like that. You lost your job because of this. Yes, sir. Police say they found no evidence that drugs and gun were planted. You had no seatbelt. It's on camera. I told you when I approached the car. But the body camera was turned off at the beginning of the arrest in violation of policy. Brown's attorney places blame on city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby for continuing to pursue the case until the officers were under federal indictment. She failed the citizens as the safeguard to protect them from this type of behavior. It's all, it's all, uh, all, uh, it's all, okay. I ain't wanna, I was gonna hurt that dude. What I saw on the body camera footage with my client, it was beyond disturbing. Mosby's office says the only reason charges were dropped against Brown was the federal indictment. Brown isn't buying that. Well, I'm just happy that it's over with and I can try to move on with my life and put it back together. The body camera in that video is worn by Detective Danny Hersel. I spoke to his brother last night who told me that these charges are bogus and politically motivated. We also learned today that the commander of the gun unit has been demoted after this scandal. Reporting live in Park Heights, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you.